Hello, Mr. Hisozaki. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, nice to meet you. First of all, we we have seen in your work uh, um, an articulated experimentation of your ideas, imagine, imagination, mm. cultures, and uh, and also forms. Uh, can you explain us uh, um, your journey, your development from uh, the really famous uh, Marilyn Monroe chair? <laughs> to uh, the, the tower of uh, Ibaraji, the art yeah. tower mito. Uh, Marilyn Monroe, uh, so the, probably you understand, the, I am the generation uh, 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 grown up under the occupation of the United States, America. Mm -hmm. So this is the reason, you know, until uh, the, uh, the very young uh, teenage, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, maybe 10, 12 years, and I grew up in completely traditional Japanese atmosphere. Yeah. And but uh, but all of a sudden, and uh, we are occupied, and American Amer so-called American culture, Americanism mm -hmm. arrived. Okay. So that is the reason, you know, quite ambiguous, ambivalent. I heard yeah. is, I. Politically, I'm very much against to the, this occupation, uh -huh. but at the same time, the culture, culturally, uh, we have we have we got a lot of influences. Yeah. So this is the Marilyn Monroe is one of that that type. Um, uh, I uh, looked at that is a kind of symbol yeah. of uh, what the kind of American beauty mm -hmm. is. That is the kind of beginning of my very, very young, uh, younger generation, uh, young boys' times, yeah. you know. Yeah, your and uh, after I uh, started to architecture, uh, architect and designing architecture, mm -hmm. and at that time uh, we didn't have any computers, no nothing. Every lines we have to lines by hand, yeah. and uh, so-called curved rule. Yeah. Uh, which is uh, we we in Japan we call it crowd form uh -huh. is something like this way, uh -huh. but uh, this is completely arbitrary. You know we can we uh, we can use any curves by hand or so on yeah. for the buildings or designing of object. So why not? We have uh, something very definite, uh, not uh, you know geometry based on geometry, not by arbitrary hand. Mm -hmm. But something different. But it, it has a, probably the meaning. That was the Marilyn Monroe's nude yeah. photos. Um, and I uh, cut off mm -hmm. the uh, nude and collage the nude combined of the actress? and okay. created one uh, special curved rule. Okay. And uh, that is uh, uh, the beginning. And I use, uh, when I designed the architecture, mm -hmm. uh, a kind of curved form. So I use that, uh, that form, and also same time uh, chairs. Yeah. And with these chairs, uh, we call Marilyn's chair. Yeah. And we, I designed some series of that. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what's about the um, the tower of uh, uh, yeah. Ibaraji? I mean, the, the, uh, after the meters, form is completely know, uh, different. Uh, yeah. For example, the, my concept of designing on architecture is very much related to the as a part of the art. Yeah. For example, I admire uh, sculptor Brancusi. Brancusi, mm -hmm. you know that. Brancusi is a famous uh, project mm -hmm. in uh, Romania. Mm -hmm. It's a so-called endless towers. Yeah. And one object and stuck in that way mm -hmm. and uh, try to show not the end of the top as the mm -hmm. height. This be, tower can, can has continue. to be continuous, yeah. uh, you know, it co uh, he, uh, he called endless. Yeah. And when I was asked to do some tower in uh, Mito, mm -hmm. and I thought, why not to have uh, this, uh, to follow the Brancusi's idea of endless. Mm -hmm. And also same time, uh, I Basically, I tried to start to, to use very simple geometries, mm -hmm. geometric forms. 
Uh, curved rule is a margin one over k. Yeah. So uh, for the other parts, uh, squares, the circles, mm -hmm. uh, triangles, triangles, and so on. Yeah. And uh, for the uh, to use tri triangles, and uh, if we use a three-dimensional, it becomes a so-called tetrahedron. Mm -hmm. Tetrahedron, if we stack one by one, it becomes an outside comes triple triple spirals mm -hmm. coming that way. So and uh, so stacking uh, over and over that is the uh, uh, idea follows from the Brancusi. But triangle uh, mm -hmm. stacking, uh, I don't know. Uh, I just I chose uh, uh, tetrahedron yeah. and. and Style. So that tower is a masterpiece of art or a masterpiece of architecture? What do you think about? I think the both. Oh, oh, me too. So now today is in architecture and sculpture coming very close yeah, and can be almost meeting each other. Yeah. So I think uh, for me uh, that is one of the you know idea of uh, you know if one side we look like it looks like architecture like yeah. a pagoda or like mm -hmm. a like a uh, normal type of the stuck mm -hmm. the, the, the tall building but at the same time a kind of concept based on the sculpture yeah. sculpture so uh and it has two Both. faces two meanings yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, looking back your um, to your past architecture and also the newest one um, how do you feel them? Um, more uh, oriental or uh, uh, much more oriental or uh, much more uh, western? Uh -huh. Are you uh, from uh, occidental and western uh, yeah. um, aim or uh, is more uh, the, the, the and it's a, a difficult to uh, answer these questions, yeah. but uh, uh, that's because the idea of the East yeah. or the Orient mm -hmm. is created by Occident people. Uh, yes. uh, yeah. By Europeans looking at the East, you are mm -hmm. uh, Orientals. So for Japanese, it is uh, the ambiguous, you know, uh, uh, we should, uh, we have. Uh, we didn't know anything about the West, but uh, we had we created something, the, uh, our own cultures. But mm -hmm. this was looked at like Orient, and they call they call East. And uh, so, if East is there, then the West is on side. East meet West, West meet East, or come together, or the twins, or and so on. This kind of uh, uh, concept, or the uh, discourses happened 19th century lot, mm -hmm. and or Orientalism or the uh, Shinoazris or Japanese Ris and so on. I hate this kind of discussions. I we should escape or, or we should overcome of this kind of, of you know mm -hmm. dichotomies. Mm -hmm. and, uh, because myself, uh, for, uh, yeah, uh, on the other ways. In Orient or in the Asian areas, there are no in tradition. There are no idea on architecture. Mm. We had a building in any ways, but no idea on architecture. So actually, my learning from uh, from Burke or from uh, as an architect, uh, concept of architecture uh, probably started from Italy or the Renaissance period. Yeah. Uh, it is a kind of a meta conceptual level uh, we call it architecture mm -hmm. but because uh, we have a building lot uh, here you have building uh, in Asia we have building but you try to find something uh, the more aesthetic idea on architecture so from from the buildings so uh, as an architect so I really follow the Western culture mm -hmm. as an architect uh, but I grown up in Japan, and I grown up learning from Chinese cultures and so on. So uh, I understand the space or the sensibility of the form uh, surrounding our environment. Mm -hmm. 
that is an Asian uh, uh, way to uh, developing the space and so on. So in, the, uh, in terms of the space, architecture space, I very much I owe to uh, from uh, Asian tradition. Yeah. And in, in terms of the form of architecture or structure or technology, I owe a lot from West. So I think the, in my side, uh, fusion. Uh, I, uh, I have both, yeah. you know. <laughs> so East and West, uh, not necessarily to discuss and meet how to meet, how to integrate. Yeah. Already, the, I have in both. my body. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the two last questions. Uh, one uh, about museum. I really like your Gumna Art mm. Museum. Really. I, the one, uh, mm. one of the, the, the most beautiful for me museum in the world. But also I uh, like the, the Museum de l'Ombre, La Coruña. Can mm. you explain us the development of your idea of mm. museums? I mean, from 70s, uh, Gumna Museum to 90s. Gumna Museum, what or not, is uh, my first yeah. uh, uh, museum and building uh, architecture, and uh, uh, that uh, started at the beginning of the uh, 1970s. Yeah. And that time, uh, I, every time I started to, for the new project, uh, to forget any preconceptions, mm -hmm. and start from completely nothing on the blank to create, uh, create something. And that time, uh, beginning of uh, 1970, uh, I thought if we face to the completely blank, like, like a white wall, yeah. maybe what kind of uh, image first come out? So at that time I found, I thought maybe square, maybe circle. <laughs> so, okay, square is the most simple uh, f uh, geometry. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take it. and. Uh, develop it three-dimensional and cube it's uh, it come up so cubic frame uh, if we, we, we have a cubic frame as a void mm. uh, any exhibitions any activities can be uh, can be contained inside so that is the what uh, I thought uh, maybe we can use as a kind of bait you, uh, basic unit for the museum, this uh, cubic frame. That is Guma Museum. Yeah. And every, uh, still uh, after 30 years, we uh, extended uh, and, uh, uh, some, uh, uh, some parts more, yeah. more buildings, mm -hmm. but I, uh, I try to keep the cubic four, yeah. uh, frames mm -hmm. uh, and from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So this is the museum which I did, and, mm, and for La Coruña. La Coruña. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It was another situation. This is uh, not uh, necessary to have a kind, of, you know, alternative, uh, yeah, uh, flex flexible exhibit system like mm -hmm. a modern art. Yeah. It is already program is fixed yeah. and especially uh, the little object was, uh, at the beginning we call it interactive interactive museum which means the uh, people come here there and uh, push buttons and talk each other so mm -hmm. some uh, uh, computer responds and mm -hmm. so on this, uh, this kind of inter interactivity is a major purpose for the museum mm -hmm. and also, at the same time, La Coruña area, the La, uh, Galicia. Mm -hmm. Galicia is a famous place of products of uh, uh, granite stones, mm -hmm. uh, granite. So, um, granite is uh, uh, very, very from the beginning, I imagine, to use as the basic materials. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, th that kind of several ideas come up. And, uh, Finally, I beat the, the, uh, the site at very, very uh, bad, strong wind, with a very strong wind, and 
almost storm it was. And I look at on the, on the rock, maybe there are kind of a strong wall mm -hmm. and facing, facing and, uh, yes. the, the window, yeah. wind, but at the same time, we, uh, so not necessary to be flat. Maybe this is a curved form would be the much more, uh, uh, I think, interesting form to respond to this kind of uh, uh, nature. Yeah. So that was the uh, uh, next st step to develop the, yeah. from the idea. We, we talk about granite stone. What the effective um, importance uh, of material and new materials in uh, yeah. uh, really contemporary yeah, I think, architecture. Yeah. I, I like to use traditional materials, yeah. uh, basically uh, stone, of course, mm -hmm. Wood. and uh, ceramics, yeah. uh, roof tiles and uh, uh, covers uh, ceramics. Those two materials I like to use. Mm -hmm. And wood, of course, but uh, wood is limited today to, you, uh, to yeah. be used. Uh, my uh, uh, cottage in the mountains I uh, use mm -hmm. the wood and so on. But uh, <coughs> uh, public building, I could use only two. At the same time, try to find, to use new materials. For example, you said uh, Mito Towers, Art yeah. Towers. Mito Art Tower probably the first building in the world to, which use, use titanium. That time, titanium is a just a new, completely new product just coming out. So there are no price uh, in the market. So and uh, uh, only only they they use the watch yeah. or the go, golf mm -hmm. bars and so on. Yeah. Not for architecture. And uh, so they 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 were thinking could be could be used for architecture, but no idea. So I negotiated. The very reasonable normal uh, cost. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know that is a solid, solid titanium. It is covered by the, the that uh, metal art star. Yeah. And not like uh, mm, uh, Bilbao. Yeah, Bilbao uh -huh. is a uh, corrugated yeah. uh, mm -hmm. uh, materials. Mm -hmm. And titanium is very thin, micro, micro yeah. millimeters mm -hmm. on covers, but. Uh, Mito is this it's, thing. It's a, the structure yeah. in titanium. Uh -huh. Structure itself is steel, uh, steel uh -huh. but uh, the surface yeah. um, of the... Uh, in titanium. Yeah, titanium. Yeah. Okay. okay, it's very interesting. So I, um, I thank you very much for this interview and I say hello and uh, if you want to look and see this beautiful uh, city uh, yeah, as it uh, Genoa. Yeah. Okay. Thank you yeah, very much. Yeah, I, I, I like to move around the, this <laughs> okay. beautiful town. So thank you, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Isataki. Thank you very much. Thank you.